The big red farm bots in Scrap Mechanic Survival are the hardest to deal with right now. They have more than 50 HP and can quickly destroy most structures. However, there is an easy way to deal with them. In this video, I'm going to show you how to eliminate a farm bot without firing a shot. If you do end up finding this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Also, I do stream over on Twitch, link in the description below. Let's get started. So real quick, before we get started, I want to mention that the idea for this vehicle in front of me came from another Scrap Mechanic content creator, Sly Gumby. Link to his Twitch is down in the description below as well. So the basic idea of this, this vehicle is we're going to want to launch the farm bots up in the air and they'll die from fall damage. Now, I'm not sure whether or not this is intended as I've dem as I'm, I'll demonstrate if you hit if you hit a hay bot or a tote bot or even a cow, they will fly up in the air and they take absolutely no fall damage. In fact, they'll just ragdoll and they'll get back up and it appears that they've taken no damage. However, for some reason, if you can launch a farm bot high enough in the air and it's not very high, to be honest, they will take critical damage. So you can actually kill them in one without even shooting, shooting a bullet. So what we're going to do is uh, quickly go over how the vehicle set up here. So basically, I put wheels on the front here, and I've tried other things. I also tried the boots, but the boots just didn't work very well, so I went back to the wheels. And I had this vehicle set up perfectly. It was working the other day. I killed about six farm bots in a row without any issues. And then I decided I was going to try to kill one that was in a forest, and I lured him out of the forest, and when I got back to my car, he absolutely wrecked it. So I've had to build it back from scratch, and I actually think I made a little bit of improvements to it. So basically, the idea here is you want to have tires across the front, and you're going to want the rotation of the tires to go back towards your vehicle. So as the bot hits you, they're going to fly over the vehicle and they're going to land behind you. And if it's a farm bot, it should either take, hopefully take critical damage. At the very least, if it doesn't, you usually only have to shoot it once or twice, maybe. Um, now, the improvement I made was I put the bearings on here on the side and I have a controller set up inside, which I'll show you. And the controller is set up right here. And what we want to do is we want to have it set to, I have it set to 10 degrees right now. So... That's what, that's what the plan is. So it's slightly tilted off the ground because if it's level with the ground, it'll actually drag and you don't want that because it'll fling your vehicle up. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it's pretty simple. The main things you want to make sure is that from this bearing to this bearing, that this is all welded together as one single piece and that you want to make sure everything's welded together to the vehicle, that these pieces back here are welded to the vehicle. That way you have um, you make sure it just doesn't like fall apart because if everything's not welded together, there's a chance it's not going to work properly. So real quick, what we're going to do, I guess I can show you the controller. Right now we have it set to negative 10 degrees, so it's tilted back towards the vehicle a little bit. And I'm gonna hop in the vehicle and we're gonna head on over to the location where I know there's at least one big red farm bot. So let's get to that. Okay, so we're on our way over to where the farm bots spawn. And real quick, I wanted to show you what happens when I hit a cow. So I'm gonna turn the tires on. So you can see they're spinning. We're gonna hit this cow and it should fly over our heads. And as you can see, there goes the cow and he's gonna take no damage. Gets right back up. No damage so i just wanted to show that off and there's actually a hay bot over here as well let's try to do the same thing to him see if it works so he should also be thrown up in the air and he's also thrown up in the air now watch he's going to hit the ground he's going to be stunned for a second but he's going to get right back up so it appears that he takes absolutely no damage uh-oh now they're going to attack my car so we got to get out of the car before they blow the break the car okay Okay, so we're approaching a place where the farm bots tend to spawn frequently, and as you can see, there's one in the woods over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up here. He's behind that tree over there. So what we need to do is we're going to actually get our, we're going to get out of our vehicle. We're going to fire a shot in his direction and get his attention. And when he char starts charging at us, I'm going to get in the car. I'm going to turn my tire trap on, and I'm basically just going to drive directly at him. He should fly over my head and take critical damage. So he's in the trees here somewhere see him back there he doesn't want it. he's not cooperating just yet now he's coming got to get in the car quickly else we have big problems so he's charging at us we're turning our trap on and watch what happens look how high he flew did he take critical damage yep no shots fired so there you go. That worked out perfectly as expected. Basically, all I did was get in the car. Let's take care of this guy real quick. And I can confirm the same the same thing that happens to hay bots and cows happens to tote bots. You throw them up in the air, they don't take any damage. So basically, we hit that we hit that hay bot or the, we hit the big red farm bot. He flew up in the air, and from the fall damage, he took critical damage. So I will tell you that I did test the power of the engine, and what I found was you actually probably need the engine at max level five 
to throw them up high enough. I tested it a bunch of times at lower notches, and what would end up happening, you could probably do it at like almost half to three quarters. It'll throw them up in the air, and they'll hit the ground, and they won't be dead, but all you have to do is shoot them one time, so it does like 99% damage to them. So yeah, that's that's basically it for this video. Um, that's how you can take care of farm bots. We're going to try to incorporate... I tried to incorporate something like this into our farm. Unfortunately, where our farm is positioned right now, if it would throw them over the base, it would actually throw them in the water. So what I'm going to try to do is build another farm at some point out in the large open field and just kind of have these traps maybe around like all four sides and try to launch the farm bots just in different directions to, so it won't really matter which, which direction they spawn from and it'll just completely destroy them. And like I said, I don't know if this is intended or if this is a bug. I could see it going either way. For example, the fact that they're so large, um, when they hit the ground and they're so heavy, I could see them getting destroyed. But I could also see this being completely not intended because there's probably a chance that the devs never even thought that this was possible or never tested it. So yeah, that's how you one-shot a farm bot in Scrap, Me Scrap Mechanic Survival without firing a single bullet. If you did enjoy this video, please click the like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Also, I do stream over on Twitch. Link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.